Hi everybody, I just wanted to uh, show you something. I normally don't post on video on social media at all, but I wanted to show you this project that I've started here uh, recently. This um, stereo cabinet came out of my wife's grandmother's home, and we just acquired it a couple weeks ago. Um, could use some work here, but I'm going to just show you all this thing. It uh, looks like it's a 1960s era Zenith. Uh, brand name looks like it's Allegra Sound Systems. Um, eight track player with AM FM stereo, record player. And it's got that cool kind of old school, mid-century modern wood thing going on that I just become a freak for recently. Anyway, I've been out here in the garage cleaning it up a little bit, so forgive the mess, my garage is a, is a disaster. But I um, thought I'd just show you this thing. I've been taking some uh, time to clean it up and took it some uh, worked on it with some Murphy's oil soap cleaned it up a little bit and then um, cleaned the uh, faces of the electronics pieces here with just some uh, Clorox wipes even over here on the record player a little bit um, the wood is going to need quite a bit of work let me close the lid and I'll show you something so you've got this piece here as you can see some damage to it probably some water damage I guess uh, but uh, as you can see, we're gonna probably need to refinish it at some point. But it also had some, the, the wood also had some uh, interesting things showing up on it. I don't know if y'all can see, but y'all can see this kind of, this sort of white, almost uh, uh, dusty stuff here. This, that stuff keeps coming back. This is where I might need a wood expert who knows anything about old furniture. The uh, only way I know to describe it is like a, like a fungus or something that doesn't want to go away. So. Uh, cleaned it up with, uh, like I said, uh, three different things, some furniture polish, some Murphy's oil soap, and then some Clorox wipes. Um, let me show you some of this stuff. So it does work. I plugged it in a little while ago. Glad I didn't electrocute myself. Um, look, it's getting some reception here. Well, I was playing a little earlier. I might show you my first video later, but uh, speakers keep cutting in and out a little bit. But you can hear some static. There we go. The AM band is playing. Let's try FM. There we go. You can hear FM. Playing pretty good. The, um, as I said, the speaker, mainly the right one, keeps cutting in and out. And then I've got the record player. I tried to put one of my old records on it, um, but I couldn't get it to work. It started to spin a little bit and wouldn't drop the record down. And uh, so I couldn't couldn't test that out. Probably just as well. It looks like the the needles probably need to be replaced on the the arm. Uh, it could have been user error too, since I haven't used one of these um, these record players that drop records in a long time. My parents had one that uh, I think Lightning got back in the 80s or early 90s. Anyway, I just thought I'd share this with y'all. I've got some before and after photos. When I first started cleaning it up earlier this morning, uh, that I'll maybe share later as well. And then uh, if anybody's got any advice on uh, restoring furniture like this, particularly electronics, uh, I'd really appreciate it because I'd really like to, to turn this thing back into its former glory. Uh, maybe get some new electronics and have this thing playable uh, for real, awfully soon. Anyway, appreciate it guys. Thanks.